headphone today. Hello and good evening. Uh, I can see Monu Varma, Priyansh, Priyanka, Kavita, Priyanka Chaudhary. Yes. Uh, so can you all hear me? I'm great. Thank you so much, Monu. Thank you so much, Kavita. Thank you for your concern. I'm doing well. I'm doing fantastic, in fact. On a weekend evening, we all generally keep very well. We all generally keep very well. Yeah. So can you please tell me if I'm audible? My dear girls, kya main sunai de rahi hu? Kya aap mujhe ye thoda sa confirm kar sakte hai? Hello, Rekha. Rekha nahi, ye beti hai. Matlab iska naam kya hai? Muskan? Nahi. Bhul gai mein aapka naam. Jaldi se bata do. Simu. Ha. Chalo, thik hai. Thik hai. मैं सुनाई दे रही हूँ। Very good। तो कैसे हो आप लोग? What are your weekend plan? What are you planning to do in the weekend? Please do tell me. Please do tell me. What are your plans during the weekend? Good evening, Anita. महक, महक, महक। Yes। ये मुस्कान और महक में ना मुझे बहुत थोड़ा सा confusion हो जाता है। ये Anita, I'm great. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, my dear. Okay, so Simu and Gagandip are saying that yes, ma'am, uh, you are audible. Chalo, very good, very good. So at this note, um, I am here to start. Anu Vishnoi, hello. Uh, Sarika Pare, Poonam Bharadwaj. Ajna, I am going to do a very interesting, funny things with you all today. And uh, that is called the confusing words in English. The confusing words in English. Okay. Uh, so I will start with that. I will start with that. Should I? Should I start, my dear boys and girls? Okay, very good. Very good. So because since it takes a little bit of time to share the screen, let me try and share the screen first. क्या ये शेयर हो रहा है? Is it being shared? Can you please tell me? No. Rajinder Gill, Himanshi, मैं है कहाँ? ठीक है। फिर से मैं शेयर करने की कोशिश कर रही हूँ। Okay, by the time it is actually shared, let me tell you about a few very confusing words in English uh, where we need to understand how it is being used, right? So um, among this, there are, there are ones that we know and there are ones that we do not know. Now, which are the ones that we do not know, right? Uh, for example, accept and accept, accept and accept. I'll just come to this page. Accept, A-C-C-E-P-T, E-X-C-E-P-T. Now, what is the difference? What is the difference between these two words? Accept means to agree to. I accept your proposal. That is, I agree to your proposal, right? The principal accepted the boy's application. And accept is usually a preposition aside from which means aside from or excluding, right? All I want, 
uh, except from a cup of coffee is something to eat. All I want except from a cup of coffee is something to eat, right? Uh, so so this is this is the difference between accept and accept. Right? Okay, after this, at last it is being accepted. At last the, the um, um, file of mine, the word file, file of mine is being accepted so that you can understand what is it. So that is accept. So the computer has accepted, has accepted my um, sharing. If I can say in that way, what is Poonam saying? Poonam is saying is accept is to agree, accept is beside. Dolly is also saying the same thing. Himanshi, thank you for uh, understanding it. Uh, Monu Varma, Swikarna, absolutely, absolutely. Thank you so much. You know, you, you, you people have learned to be prompt these days with English language. And I'm so happy that you have actually picked up picked it up you're picking up the process and you will pick up the language very soon the language very soon and I, i'm very happy about it right um effect and effect you can see i have written it uh, uh, if anyone can please share your email id with me i can also um, i can also share these with uh, you um, on your email you know the various the PPT is not clear. I cannot help it. I cannot help it as of now. Words are very small. Okay, this I can help. This I can help. Simu, just give me two minutes. Let's go. Pura pakar ke. Font size barha deti hu. Tab ja ke shayad hum logo ko. Lasa problem kam hu. Can you now see it, my dear? Can you now see it, my dear boys and girls? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Absolutely. Dolly, you're right. You're right. Thank you for uh, understanding what I mean to tell you all. Right? Then there are other, other things like effect and effect. Effect means influence. Effect means influence. His money affected the way people treated him, used in the past as a noun, though almost exclusively in mental health field. Effect refer to a person's mood, right? The effect of the weather has made me happy. So something which is influencing me. An effect is result. Do you know the effect of the, the side effects of the drug? So effect Effect is to influence, A double F E C T. Effect is to influence, and effect is to, um, is, is the result, right? And then in synonym of effect, E double F E C T, effect is impact. A synonym of effect is impact. Am I clear, my dear boys and girls? Am I clear? Effect prabhav. Yes, Poonam Bharadwaj, you are absolutely right. One is Prabhav and the other one is Result, parim, Parinam, right? So that is another thing. Another uh, word which is a bit uh, uncommon maybe for young minds like you, that is Allusion. Allusion and Illusion. Illusion is a um, common word, but Allusion is a direct re uh, reference. Did you catch my allusion to Shakespeare? An illusion is a misleading appearance. This person is an illusion that she is, uh, that, that uh, his friend is going to help her, uh, him or her, right? The mir mirrors give the room an illusion of depth. 
It is said by interior decorators and civil engineers and architects that if your room is small and there in the wall, uh, on the wall, if you can put a big mirror, it will give you a illusion. It is a misleading appearance dega aapko ki aapko lagega your room is quite big, at least bigger than what it is originally is. That is illusion. I have an illusion that everybody loves me. But that is that might not be true, right? So it is a misleading thinking or false appearance, something like that. And what is illusion? Illusion is a direct reference. It's a direct reference. Yes, illusion is something which is uh, not real. Absolutely, Dolly. Absolutely. Right? Then comes three important things. A sure Ensure, ensure. देखो ये ना हम लोगों ने जब homonyms किया था, हम लोगों ने इस चीज मतलब ये सारे words को use किए थे, किया था, right? But then today what I'm doing is a bit different from homonym, right? Because here you will find that there is no homonym as such. एक जैसा sound, सम नाम नहीं है यहाँ पे. Assure है, ensure है, insure, insure है. Right, so assure and ensure are generally interchangeable. Though assure is more often used for people, I assure you, I am unarmed. I am unarmed. Assure means. Achha, uh, Simu, uh, allusion ka matlab aapko samaj mein nahi aaya. Uh, I, I'll just, uh, just repeat that for you and for all of us. And for all of us. But let me finish this. I am assuring you that I do not carry um, a, a pistol or any arm, right? And ensure that uh, I ensure that the lid is tight. Dibbeka lid tight. Hai. And ensure is almost exclusively used in financial sense, like life insurance. Have you, do you have any medical insurance? Have you insured your car? So assure is, uh, the, matlab, assure karna, uh, some, uh, that I, I assure you, I um, assure karti hum, assure ka hindi mujhe nahi aara, aap log batao, assure ka hindi hai, ki mere paas kuch aisa cheez nahi hai, jisse aapko pareshani ho. Ensure is also the same. But insure is used for financial products because insurance is the noun of the verb insure. Okay. Now, Simu asked me a question that, ma'am, allusion, samaj me nahi aaya. Allusion is an expression designed to call something to mind without mentioning it explicitly. Right? Uh, for example, uh, let me give you an example. Uh, Giving a hint. Jaha se logo ko pata chal jai ki what is allusion. Right? Uh, jaise ki um, allusion ka example agar mein aapko doon. Say, say for example if I say uh, the city of uh, the pink city, the pink city. What will you understand? What will you understand? If someone says, or if I say the pink city, what will I, you understand? You will understand Jaipur, isn't it? You will understand Jaipur. Is Jaipur the pink city or Udaipur is the pink city? Hmm? right if you say yes absolutely muskan thank you so that is an illusion without taking the name when when i am saying something that you understand that you understand it's a figure of speech chika simu ha beta samajh mein aaya jaipur is the pink city
Okay. Should I move on to the next one? If that is uh, done with you. Okay. Great. Now the next one. A while, a while. See, yaha pe ek a while ke beech mein ek space hai. The first one. A while is a noun phrase. Let's sit for a while. Let's sit for a while. Thode der ke liye baitte hai. A while, which is without the space, which is without the space, is an adverb. Is a Sorry, is an adverb, like let's sit a while. Many agree this is nitpicky distinction. That is, there is no such distinction since the only difference seems to be the use of the preposition before a while, right? So it's not very mm, different from uh, one another, a while with a space and a while without a space, but, but, uh, but uh, if you want, you can mention the difference. If you do not want, you cannot mention the difference. You might not mention the difference. Now you see there is another word that is bring and take. Bring and take. That is the word. Bring and take. Now what is the difference between the word bring and take? Can anybody please tell me what is the difference between the word bring and take? What is the difference? Bring is towards me can you bring me a glass of water la ke dena can you take this paper out of this room or leke nikal jana that is take can i take your pen can you bring me a pen while you come to my room right so i'm so sorry So, if the action is directed toward you, if the action is directed towards you, use bring. While coming, please bring some uh, tomatoes. You know, your, your parents might tell each other, your father while coming from home, should I take something for uh, dinner tonight? Ask your mother. And your mother replies, yes, if you want to bring anything, Bring some roti, I will have the sabji made. So, baat hai ki hai, kya main kuch leke aao? Haan, agar aapko lana ho, tab thoda sabji leke aaye, roti mein bana loongi. But your mother is using bring, your father, uh, your mother is using take, your father is using bring. Ek lani ke liye, apne taraf khichne ke liye, ek dousre ke taraf khichne ke liye. Am I clear with this bring and take, my dear? Can anybody please tell me if I'm clear with my example of bring and take? Yes, ma'am. Thank you. Thank you so much, Moon. Right now, let me go to the next one. Sensor, 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 right? So, with this, I'll go to an easy one. Okay. Conscience and conscious. Conscience and conscious. Are these two words, the spelling of the two words, are they not very similar to each other? The spelling of the two words, are they not very similar to each other? Hmm? Yes, they are. They are. Consigns, but the meaning is different, you know, because consigns is a noun referring to a sense of right and wrong. Whereas, whereas, Conscious 
is an adjective meaning awake, aware, right? I'm, I, uh, uh, um, I was conscious about the fact. My conscience did not allow me to um, leave the work half done, though I was getting late. Concise means the, uh, the sense of uh, ethics, right? The sense of ethics, right or wrong, right or wrong. And conscious is an adjective meaning awake or aware. Hmm? I was in full consciousness when the operation took place. I was in my subconscious state when I was dreaming about you. Samaj me aray bacha? Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Okay. Now. Now. Continuous, continual. Continuous, continual. Right? For example, continuous means constant. It's been continuously raining since uh, five days now. It is continuously raining for five days now. <coughs> it is continuously raining. That is something which is being happening constantly without interruption. I'm continuously telling you to study hard, right? And continual means frequent, which happens repeatedly, right? Like some uh, um, COVID um, protocol needs continual sanitization, right? Pro or COVID protocol includes Continual sanitization. Am I clear to all of you, my dear boys and girls? Please let me know so that if you do not understand, I can give some other example. Conscience, science, I'll repeat that. I'll repeat that. Okay. Conscience, conscience means... Uh, Hindi mein kya bolte usko? Sahi ya galat ka jo feeling hai. Right? My conscience will restrict me from cheating in the examination. My conscience will restrict me from cheating in the examination. Am I clear? Right? Conscience means sahi or galat. जो फीलिंग हमको सही और गलत के का अंतर समझाते हैं उसको बोलते हैं कौन साइंस राइट वेरी गुड थैंक यू कॉन्टिन्यूस एंड कॉन्टिन्यूअल डू यू अंडरस्टैंड कॉन्टिन्यूस वी मस्ट कॉन्टिन्यूसली कीप अ चेक ऑन आवर प्रोसेस ऑफ लर्निंग इंग्लिश राइट and continual means uh, we must, we must uh, um, say, for example, continual means so, uh, we must uh, um, some, some of us need continual coaching for English language development. Some of us needs continual coaching for English language development. Kirandip Kas Kirandip. Okay, hi ma'am. Right. Very good to see you, Kirandip. Okay. So that is the difference between continuous and continual. Continual means frequent. Continuous means lagatar. Or continual means frequent. Abhi frequent ka Hindi mil se mat pucho. Aap log mujhe batao. What is the uh, meaning of frequent? Jo bar 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 hota hai, right? So this is this is another thing. Could have and could off. Could have and could off. Promoting the confusion. 
is the contradiction could have which sounds like cloud of sorry i am so sorry um, i am so sorry could have that is i could have done it i could have gone there i could have done it right could should might they are always followed by they are always followed by have compromise could have ensured a success right so that is could have could uh, could have put off is used i am sorry i am sorry uh, i think this would be could right could have and could okay so you know it now different then and different from again there are two sen words which are using which we are using people commonly use then with different but then is used for comparison and different is not comparative so different from is preferred i am different from him i am different than him is is incorrect right so the second blast was bigger just different from the first one you will find many where uh, it is written that different than no no you must write different for from different from alag different means matlab alag elicit and elicit 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 means to evoke or to draw out nikal lena right the police elicited from the criminal the names of his accomplices accomplices ka matlab kya hai jaan pehchan wala पुलिस ने क्या किया देखो पुलिस ने क्या किया पुलिस ने अपने क्रिमिनल के लिस्ट से अपने जान पहचान वालों को निकाल दिया ठीक है तो दैट इज इलिसिट विच इज अब राइट एंड इलिसिट इज एन एडजेक्टिव इलिसिट इज एन एडजेक्टिव विच मीन्स विच मीन्स इलीगल illegal george was guilty of committing illicit acts illicit relationship is a very common thing agar koi bhi hindi um, bengali and other soaps aap log dekho to aap logo ko pata chalega ki illicit wahan pe bhi use hota hai that is something which is illegal okay samajh mein aa raha hai are you being able to understand what i'm trying to tell you Gitu Sutar, K R G Group, Colonel Singh Chauhan. I would request you all to somebody who is who are who are uh, new in the session today. Uh, I can see like Gitu Sutar. I do not know if you have uh, um, attended the. Um, सेशन ऑलियर सदवीर हेलो कर्नल सिंह चौहान आप लोग एक एक दो दो शब्द में थोड़ा सा लिख दीजिए हाउ डिड यू कम टू नो अबाउट द सेशन वेदर यू आर अ पार्ट ऑफ द एस के डी यूनिवर्सिटी सो ऑन एंड सो फोर्थ एक दो लाइन पे या दो चार शब्दों के सहारे आप लोग थोड़ा लिख दीजिए ताकि मुझे भी पता चले कि कहाँ से कौन ज्वाइन कर रहा है सिंस इट इज अ फ्री सेशन वेरी thanks to skd university for making this session free there are so many people joining in from so many parts of the country so we can know like where are the areas we all are joining in from okay then we say another uh, three word combination that is immigrate immigrate and migrate immigrate immigrate and migrate immigrate means to move away from one's country like we immigrated from canada in 20 2002 many people uh, from punjab immig uh, immigrates to 
Canada, right? Immigrate means what? Immigrate means to move to another country, right? Immigrate means to move away from one's country. We immigrated from India to Canada. We immigrated from India to Bangladesh. We immigrated from India to uh, United States of America. Immigrate means to move into um, another country. We immigrated to the um, United States. And migrate means when the, uh, when the people relocate within the same land. Migrant, migrate means from one place to another, right? Like the migratory birds. They move from one place to another. That is migration. Jab hum log ek jaga se dusri jaga pe jate hai. That is migration. Am I clear to all of you? Right? Uh, uh, migrant laborers. Hum logo ne dekha tha. Jab uh, um, uh, lockdown shudu hui thi, there were a lot of chaos regarding migrant laborers. Right? That means they have moved from their place to another place, but within the country. Within the country. Kabi kabi than be hamari yaha migratory birds aate hai. Right? From other places where it is very cold. So they move on to a place which is not very uh, cold. Right? Geese spend much of the uh, spring and fall migrating between warm and cold climates. Geese matlab, geese is a uh, hans ki tarha ek panchi. Right? Am I clear to all of you? Hardeep Shokhil, hi, Iftikar. Hmm. Hmm. Achha, abhi ek baat batao. Ye jo saare words aaj mein discuss kar rahi hoon. Uska hum loog kya karenge? Words bohat saare hai mere paas. Ek din, do din, paanj din mein discuss kar sakti hoon. But what is the utility of doing so? Can you please tell me? What is the utility of doing so? Chaldi chaldi batao bacha log. Learned. Okay, learned. Learning. Learning is the utility. Fir, abhi maine learned kiya. Uske baad kya hoga? Use. Okay. Okay, learn and use. Achha, chik. Koi baat nahi. Good. Good. Thank you. Thank you, Simu and Gagan. That is what I exactly wanted to know. Now, you see, there is a new word. Yes, the new word is for you. You can write it in a good way. Right? Eminent, 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 eminent. This is how the three words are. Eminent means somebody who is famous, prominent or famous. He is an eminent author. Shah Rukh Khan is an eminent actor. Right? Eminent means pending or expected soon. Sir, poor breach is imminent. Right? Something is imminent. It is imminent. So we are expecting something. Jo samne hone wala hai. Right? That is imminent. It was quite imminent. Ye hona hi tha. I was expecting it. Imminent means inherent or ever present. Right? God's imminence is most apparent in the phenomenon of creation. Jo har wakt hamare saath hai. Chahe hum usse dekh paaye ya na dekh paaye. Which is ever present. Usko aur ek shabd mein hum log use karte hai. Ya describe karte hai. Kya aap kuchhe bata sakte hai wo shabd kya hai? Can you please tell me what is that word? That word is? Yeah, it's a card. Using right word in the right place. Absolutely. Ye imminent ka jo mene word aapko bola, which means har jaga pe jis ki presence ho, like God. To usko hum aur kis word ke saath, aur ek common word ke saath use kar sakte hai. Aur wo common word kya hai? Can you please tell me? That is, should I write it for you or you will do it for me? I do it for you or you do it for me, my dear boys and girls? 
यूनिवर्सल यूनिवर्सल इज यूनिवर्सल का मीनिंग इट्स इट्स अ वेरी कॉमन वर्ड इफ्तिकार एंड थैंक यू एटलीस्ट यू हैव थॉट ऑफ समथिंग बट यूनिवर्सल इज नॉट जो हर जगह मौजूद हो यूनिक नहीं बेटा यूनिवर्सल इज समथिंग जो जनरल यूनिवर्सल इज जनरल जो सबको समेट के होता हो गॉड इज यूनिवर्सल नो गॉड इज यूनिक ऑफकोर्स गॉड इज यूनिक आई डू नॉट नो वट वेदर गॉड इज यूनिक और नॉट बट द वर्ड विच आई एम ट्राइंग टू टेल यू इज ये लिख के रखो omnipresent omnipresent right omnipresent means omnipresent means present everywhere present everywhere that is that is omnipresent that is omnipresent bujhe chho samajh mein aaya samajh mein aaya ya bharat johan ach welcome to the session my dear right right simu gagandeep aaj kavita dolly sare log bahut chup chap hai kya baat hai samajh mein aa raha hai na aap logo ko प्रियंका महक मुस्कान वेरी गुड थैंक यू थैंक यू सिंह एम्पैथी एंड सिंपैथी ये वर्ड ना मैं अपने सॉफ्ट स्किल्स ट्रेनिंग में द वर्ड एम्पैथी मैं बहुत 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 ज्यादा यूज करती हूँ बिकॉज इट इज वन ऑफ द मोस्ट इम्पॉर्टेंट वर्ड्स ऑफ आर टाइम्स बिकॉज इफ यू हैव टू बी वी हैव टू बी इम्पैथेटिक टूवर्ड्स पीपल सो वॉट इज इम्पैथी इट्स अ साइकोलॉजिकल अटैचमेंट इन विच वन इमेजिन अनादर्स एक्सपीरियंस मतलब जो मेरा प्रॉब्लम है जो मेरे ऊपर से गुजर रहा है उसको मैं उसको अगर आप समझ पाओ मेरे तरीके से मेरे हिसाब से that is empathy and what is sympathy sympathy is com- com- sorry compassion for or emotional alignment right to so, sympathy ka hindi kya hai aap mujhe jaldi jaldi batao what is the hindi of sympathy what is the hindi of sympathy I always hear, ma'am. Very good. But in a am sahanubhuti. Oh, lovely, lovely sahanubhuti. And what is the Hindi of empathy? Empathy ka Hindi kya hai? Empathy ka Hindi bhi ye Google mujhe sahanubhuti dikha raha hai. But, but um, empathy is a bit more than sympathy. Okay, so we must know where to use empathy and where to use sympathy. ठीक है नो एवरी डे यू सी दिस इज अ वेरी कॉमन वर्ड वी यूज इट एवरी डे एवरी टाइम दैट इज एवरी डे विथ अ गैप इन बिटवीन एंड एवरी डे विदाउट अ गैप इन बिटवीन एवरी डे विथ अ गैप इन बिटवीन एंड एवरी डे विदाउट अ गैप इन बिटवीन Every day is a noun phrase with a gap. Hmm. What time do you wake up every day? रोज कितने बजे नींद से उठते हो आप? And every day without the space in between, without the gap in between, is an adjective. Is an adjective. For example, how do you like my everyday attire? How do you like my everyday attire? Attire का मतलब what do we mean by attire? अटायर राजेंद्र कुमार नमस्ते हाँ कोई कोई बात नहीं कोई गल नहीं वॉट इज द मीनिंग ऑफ अटायर ये जो अटायर वर्ड है यहाँ पे इसका क्या मतलब है इसका क्या मतलब है बताइए जरा मुझे इसका मतलब है कोई बताएगा आई जस्ट वेट फॉर थर्टी सेकेंड्स Because I know it's a bit late in 
in every day mean har din nahi jaydeep uh, is from emily biscuit university okay karnal singh believe is kid university very good thank you so much for uh, responding to what i said every day attire matlab roz attire means dress attire means dress right attire means dress poshak that is attire and every day means ye kya hota hai patake ka kya matlab hota hai varun chawla Rojana, every day means Rojana. I was asking about attire. Very good. Thank you so much. Then the same thing with everyone with a space in between and everyone. Everyone is a noun phrase meaning each. Everyone of the flowers blue. No, everyone of the class. past right and everyone is a noun meaning all that is everyone is invited for the party tomorrow everyone finish the course with ease right then comes another thing that is fewer less many much number amount use fewer many and number with nouns that can be counted I have fewer pieces than you. Use less, much, an amount with general amount that cannot be counted. I have less candy than you. I have less candy than you. Okay. So, जो count हो सकता है, वहां पे हम यूज करेंगे फ्यूअर मेनी एंड नंबर लाइक टेन ट्वेंटी फिफ्टी लाइक दैट और जहां पे काउंट नहीं हो सकता है वहां पे हम करेंगे लेस मच अमाउंट फॉर एग्जांपल लेसर द क्राउड बेटर फॉर अस क्राउड हम लोग नहीं बोल सकते कि फ्यू क्राउड्स वी ऑलवेज से लेस क्राउड राइट थैंक यू सो मच थैंक यू वन टू थ्री तो नहीं बोल सकते ना हम लोग सो थैंक यू सो मच सो वी आर सेंग समथिंग विच इज अनकाउंटेबल वॉट अमाउंट डू आई हैव टू पे यू सो वेन आई डू नॉट नो सो आई से अमाउंट राइट आई नी ही हिम हु हुम आई नी ही हिम हु हुम राइट आई यू नो रेफर्स टू द सब्जेक्ट इन अ सेंटेंस आई एम योर टीचर टूडे आई एम योर टू टीचर टूडे राइट Mm, that is that is it me refers to the object who will attend the conference he or i please send the abstract uh, to uh, to my assistant or me right the same applies with he whom who he in subject he in object who in subject who in object whoever in subject whomever in object okay i am done i'm finished Right. In that way, we have to think. So it's a huge thing, you know, uh, which I have actually gathered for you. I have actually gathered for you. Right. Infer, imply. To imply something is to hint. But the statement implies that my involvement was deliberate. मतलब बोल बोल रहे हैं ये स्टेटमेंट से पता चल रहा है राइट right? हिंट मिल रहा है एंड टू इनफॉर समथिंग इज टू गैदर फ्रॉम फ्रॉम रीडिंग द रिपोर्ट आई हैव इनफर्ड दैट देर वॉज समथिंग ओके सो इनफर मीन्स कुछ गैदर करना इम्प्लाई मीन्स कुछ हिंट देना ले एंड लाई लेस तो एक होता है जो चिप्स हम लोग खाते हैं ले मीन्स to put or place it makes it takes a direct object specifying the thing that is put or place she laid her books on the desk she laid her books on the desk lie 
does not take a direct object. For leaving things, lie means to recline. Hmm? I lay awake until 2. Matlab, main 2 baje tak aise lete rahi. Mujhe neen nahi aya. Right? Lies also means a direction. The valley lies to the north. Right? How we are using uh, or what is the sense of the sentence will tell us the meaning of the word lie. Okay. Like okay, okay, a y and okay. Both are acceptable. Phenomena and phenomenon. Phenomena is a plural form of phenomenon. Phenomena is a plural form of phenomenon, right? Then and then. Then is used for comparison. Then is used for baad wala cheez samjhane ke liye. I will call you then. Tab. When it is a when it is a matter of time. When it is a matter of time. Bohut sara maine discuss ki aap logo ke saath. I hope that... Uh, Yeah, I hope that you people have understood uh, what I tried to say, right? Right. So in this way, if we try to understand uh, the various words in English, it will be better for us. It will be better for us to, um, again, uh, have a bank of, to have a bank of our vocabulary. We'll have a bank of our vocabulary. Okay. Ma'am, please reply who is Varun. How do I know who is Varun? Rajinder Kumar, Mujhe kaise pata chalega? Bolo to beta. Pata nahi aap kaun ho. Lekin, matlab, how do I know? I'm sitting in Calcutta. So I do not know who is Varun. I only meet you here. Uh, I only meet you here. Thik hai? Manu Varma. Another thing which I wanted to tell you that the, the words which I have given today, the words that I have given today, is not only for the class, right? You have to practice the words. You have to use it in your everyday life, in your everyday conversation. Say, for example, just a few minutes back, I use the term every day. And now I am using the term every day, every day conversation. So when it is every day conversation, quote unquote, everyday conversation, it doesn't have the space between every and they. It doesn't have the space between every and day, right? But if I tell you every day I meet you at five o'clock, it has a space between every and day. Okay? Okay? So this is this is how we got to use, right? Again, another word I, I would like to tell you. One is sorry. We, we continuously keep on saying sorry. And the other word which we can use uh, other than sorry is what? Apologies. Apologies. Right? What does that mean? What does that mean? Sorry ka matlab kya hai? Sorry ka matlab hai? Mafi mangna hai na? Sorry ka matlab hai? Mafi mangna. And apologize ka matlab hai? Mafi mangna. I'm so sorry I couldn't. Uh... Perso class kyu nahi lagi ma'am? Kyuki ma'am could not find out time. Ma'am was stuck up in some other work. I thought I will be able to finish like I do every day, but kabhi kabhi. कुछ कुछ चीजें extend हो जाती है तो मेरा भी थोड़ा सा काम था वो extend हो गया ठीक है मनु वर्मा are you happy with my answer <laughs> uh, तो 
uh, apology. When do we use the term apology? When do we use the term sorry? Sorry is, I'm so sorry I couldn't uh, attend yesterday's class. Oh, my apology is because I couldn't attend yesterday's class. Same meaning, but it depends on, it depends on how we do use that. We do use that, right? Mm. Another word uh, in in this in this uh, mm, I'm happy. Okay, very good. You should be happy. Are you fine, ma'am? Yes, I'm absolutely fine, dear. I am absolutely fine. Thank you, Monu Varma. Right. Another word that nowadays we use very very frequently is message. M e s s a g e. Huh? Mujhe ek WhatsApp message kar dena, mujhe ek SMS kar dena. That is uh, uh, an acronym, right? And what is the other word we can use for message is text. T-E-X-T. -E text. Jaisa hum log ka textbook hota tha na, text. So text is something which is written. Text is something which is written. Text is something which is written. Message is something which is written. So when I say send me a text, that means you write me something that I have reached home properly. I um, whatever, whatever, right? So मुझे लिख के बताना, मुझे message भी. Message is always uh, also uh, a written thing, but message can all can also be a non-written one. मैं phone पे क्यों कोई message आपको दे सकती हूँ. लेकिन when it is texting, if I say I'll be texting you, that means I'll be sending you a written message. That is the difference between message and texting right right am i clear am i clear tired and exhausted tired and exhausted i'm very tired today i'm i am exhausted today what is the difference what is the difference When do we use tired and when do we use exhausted? When do we use tired and when do we use exhausted? Tired is used when we are tired. Jab hum log thakke haare hote hai, that is tiredness. Exhausted is jab bohat zada thak jate hai, then we say we are exhausted. Okay, am I clear to all of you? Shopping and marketing. What is the difference between shopping and marketing? What is the right word rather? What is the right word? I'll go for Diwali shopping. And I will go for Diwali marketing. Which one is the right word? Which one is the right word? Shopping, shopping, right. Why? Why? Marketing is for bulk. Individually, we go to shop. Marketing mein bohat kuch aata hai, which is a subject in itself. Jo hum log ko abhi filhaal nahi parna hai. Kabhi aap log bare ho jau, tab aap log parna. If you want to, right? Jaha pe advertisement hota hai, uh, taglines hote hai, bohat kuch hota hai, right? Lekin shopping, we go for shopping, right? So, so shopping is the right word. Never say that I'm going for marketing. Always say I'm going for shopping. So today we, I think we have learned more than 20 words. Hai nahi? Hai nahi? Bolo bacho. Today I think we have learned more than 20 words. I believe you will be using this in your day-to-day -day life. Will you? Marketing is a profession as well. Absolutely. Absolutely, Monu. Uh, marketing is a professional as, a profession as well. So, bas aaj itna hi bahut sara words ka pressure maine aap logo ke sar pe dal diya hai. Thoda Sunday mein usko digest kijiye. Us, uske baare mein sochiye. Uske baare mein um, samajhne ki koshish kijiye. Usko apne words mein, apne writing mein, apne conversation mein use kijiye. और मैं मिलूंगी आपसे मंदिर पांच बजे तब तक के लिए 
Take very good care of yourself and enjoy your Sunday. Any question you can ask me. Okay, so there, I think there's no question. Thank you so much for attending, my dear boys and girls. Thank you, SKT University, for giving us this platform where we actually discuss, learn uh, so many things in English. Uh, and I get to know so many young minds who are very interested to learn the language. Bye-bye from my side. See you on Monday.